Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi young mathematicians, this is Mr. Woods Teaches and today we're going to be going over how to graph negative and positive numbers. If you recall in my previous video, we have the right over here of the zero, it's going to be positive and everything to the left is negative. And we have these numbers here. We have positive and negative numbers that we're going to graph on this number line. I'm going to graph the positive numbers first and then the negative numbers. And But look here. It says graph and label the numbers on the number line. So there's a direction that we need to do is we need to graph it and label it. So there's two things that we need to do here. Let's look at the first positive number. So this is a positive 9. We find it here on the number line. Okay, so I can sit here and I just put like a little dash and I'm just going to go boom and I could put a dot here right on that number line. Let's look at the next positive number. That's negative. That's negative. Oh, here we go. There's positive. We find 2, 1, 2. Just count it over, put the dot, and I can put a label on that, and that is D. D. Just put a label. See, I'm labeling that. It's just real easy. Find it, label it. Negative 10, positive 7. Again, a dot on the number line, and then I'm going to come down here, and it's F. Next number to graph is going to be G3. So 1, 2, 3. And sometimes you're like, well, wait a minute, that's kind of crowded. You can even come up here. It doesn't matter. G. Unless you don't have enough space up there. But there's my G. Now we're going to work on negative numbers. Let's take a look at our first negative. So the positive, negative 6. Again, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going to go right here. And I just say it's B. If you notice, I just quickly just took away those numbers for negative and positive. Can you find that negative, the next negative number here? It's C, negative 3. Well, yes, because we know here in the center is 0, and it's labeled 0. We just go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and I can mark it up here, C. Easy peasy. Again, with negative 10, because we don't, we've already done D2 right here. So negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's negative 10. And that is E. I saw a mistake as I was doing that. I'm like, wait a minute, I forgot to put my dot right here for C to mark it. It's good to have this line going up there, but we need to mark the number line. Okay, let's get back to regular numbers. So we can see the numbers again. That's okay. It was just an experiment. But let's take, let's go forward. So we've labeled E. F is positive. G is positive. H is negative 7. There we go. And I'm going to go up because it is crowded down there. So there's H. Now, here's just something real quick. Let's just take a look at this. What is the opposite of negative 7? Well, if it's 7 going this way, the opposite of that is going to be 7 going this way. So I can just draw a line like this and have arrows going both ways or something like that, just so, to show that this is the opposite. So if I was asking for the opposite, opposite, there we go, just OP for opposite. And that's it for today. And remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Thank you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.